Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo for the month of June um, for the, the full moon energies and how it may affect some of you. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. It will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. I, um, <laughs> I feel that um, you may have received Mm, some sort of news uh, or message, um, gossip even, uh, from someone whom you trust. Um, you don't really know what to do with this news. Um, now... What worries me about this is, although this does and can represent a trustworthy friend, the serpent is here. So I wouldn't really uh, take um, or put much stock in what you're hearing here. And you need to use logic and reason when it comes to this news because see and it has to do with somebody that you love or that you are wanting to offer your cup to or that you are presently in a relationship with but you're not receiving back okay there's some sort of um there's some sort of uh imbalance here um it's like maybe the other person is not really putting the effort which has thrown this out of balance. You don't understand why it's happening. Um, but you want to try to resolve it. Because for some reason, and, and this is connected to whatever you heard. Maybe you heard that um, that you know, maybe they were seeing someone else or talking with someone else. Um, just something to cast a shadow of a doubt in here. But it's not necessarily the truth with the serpent being there. There's another reason why they, they would have been holding back. But you're fishing for information. And you've got all of these... Uh, fearful thoughts going through your mind um, and fear about ending and it's and it's like you it's like you're analyzing the situation um, and, and you don't know which move to make while you're analyzing it while both feet are in the water and your hand in the water, making it very difficult. You might fear this person would walk away. There's, there's not much clarity on this situation at one time that you thought probably was your happily ever after or that, you know, um, that you had a lot of hope and optimism for. Um, you're waiting on a commitment of something solid from this person, but it's, it's like it's not happening. You may have been through, um, or may have had most recently some sort of conflict with this person because there's a storm that has passed and you're still feeling it and the other person's not putting the effort or they're closed off perhaps and so now you're sitting in this position where um, you feel it, there's no direction you're feeling left out in the cold Yeah.
there's no clear indication being given as to why the effort is not being put. But I don't believe it is what you think it is, is what I'm trying to tell you, and that you shouldn't be listening to um, gossip. Um, I feel that because of the, um, the situation with them not putting the effort, um, you may have started to uh, kind of spy on them. You know, you need to be careful when you're doing that because you could, you know, misunderstand something. And, and maybe this news that you received from someone you really trusted as a friend, right, caused you to start spying on this person. I feel that this will only make matters worse. and not uh, better. I think if you want to know what's going on instead of spying, you need to sit down and have a conversation. But maybe you fear doing this. Maybe you fear if, if you do, the person will walk away. Anyway, that, that's the energies that I'm picking up here. Uh, for whoever this is for. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Many blessings. Bye for now.